So let's have a look at starting OBS. We've got OBS running there. Um, I'm not going to show you how to set up OBS. There are too many differences and too many different types of computers. But sufficient to know that I've got a couple of audio inputs already running there. They're turned off and you can see they're turned off a couple of spares. Those are turned on and I've got HP screen. I've got two screens and an iPad. So the HP screen is on the left hand side over there, over that way. And that's turned off. Let me turn it on and you can, you can see, see that, that it's recording, recording me, me now. now. The Logitech, the Logitech camera, camera is that, is that one, one up there, there and I've got that set up separately. separately. Now, I've now I've turned, turned it off, off and, and I've, I've turned, turned HP, HP screen, screen left, left off. off. There we go. Now I'm back on this one and because they're grouped, I'll just turn that one off for the time being. Because they're grouped I can just reduce the group. Now the screen on the right is a Samsung screen and that's the one you can see it recording on here now. It's now turned off, it's now turned on and it's display capture. Now why can you see that? You can see that because it's above the iPad mini. Now the iPad mini 6 the is this one here. Now it's not turned on because when it's turned on Let's have a look. There we go. Now you can see it's turned on and it's behind. You can see it's come up because it's a different size screen. It's come up behind this screen here. Now I can't move that one out of the way or that one because of the nature of the thing. It's going to get too confused. So let's turn off Display Capture 2. Now this leaves the iPad Mini 6 running. Not the Samsung, the Samsung is turned off. We've got the iPad Mini 6 and you can see that's above the iPad Mini 6 so it takes precedence on the screen. It's like, it's like think of layers in a, in, a dis, in a graphics display. That's a top layer and there's the layer below it. Where we? And I've got an iMac one which isn't running because that's, that uses um, a different thing altogether. But we've got the iPad Mini 6, not the iPhone. The iPhone's turned off. You can watch it with, you can record with the iPhone camera, um, but it's got a bit of lag in it sometimes and it's a bit of a fiddle to get going. So I'm leaving that turned off. So I've set up iPad Mini 6, which is a display capture device just like that. Oh, you can't see it of course. Let me go back here. There's the display capture device and the iPad Mini 6 is simply one of those same as that there and I've named it iPad Mini 6 so I know what it is. Now the Logitech camera there's the iPad Mini off and back on again you see there's the iPad mini over there now the Logitech which you can't see on that screen at the moment is off and on and their lock is on so I can't accidentally change them now the iPad mini 6 will we be able to see that you should be able to see that on your screen that's the properties for Logitech and it's telling you what it is. I'll just cancel that. Now the iPad mini, that's the properties for the iPad mini. It tells you what device I'm using and it's the iPad mini. Let's say OK. Now with the iPad mini listed, let's check filters. We should be able to see that. There's, there's no filters you see. So I'll just close that one. The Logitech camera, however, has a filter that gives it a circle. So I'll cancel that. Now to see what filters there are, let's go up the top to filters. And there's background removal. That does all sorts of weird things. 
I don't like that halo that it gets around it, so let's get out of that. The chroma key is determining what the, uh, what the effect is. The round mask is that one. Turn it off and you're back to square. Turn it back on and it's a round mask. Now the mask here, you can see it reduced the size of the circle slightly. There's actually a grey border around that circle, which I've left off because it takes up too much room. So I'll just close that, that's all there is to it. The pathway to the image mask.png, which is that black outline with a transparent centre, so it's a circle. Now setting up OBS um, is fraught with frustration if you have even the remotest hesitation. Um, you set, a, set aside a day and, <laughs> and take your time with it. It can be a real pain. Now if I want to ignore all this, of course that's no good to you when you're trying to record something. Let me show you what happens when you record something. So we'll turn off the Samsung and I'll turn off that altogether. Reduce the size of that group. So we've just got the iPad Mini 6 and the Logitech and you can see me in the middle there. Now it's recording the iPad. Let me open something up in iPad. There we go. Go back to that. Go back to that. open up Photoshop in iPad so you can do all sorts of things discover it's just what it's doing is just showing you what's on the iPad you're recording the screen doing a screen recording easy as that let's have a look at there we go Very nice. That's mid journey through Discord. And that's all there is to it. So let's turn that off. Blank screen. Turn on the HP, HP screen, screen display, display capture, capture and there's, and there's the, the HP, HP screen. screen. You can now, now see the, the uh, mouse, mouse is wiggling, wiggling around in that, that one. So, so turn, turn that, that off again. Turn on the iPad and there it is again. So you can record the iPad really easily. Put a mask around it so you get the the um, background removal round. Let's turn off the round mask and see what that looks like. There you go. So now I've got a I've got a square picture in the in the bottom left hand corner. And of course you can put that wherever you like on the screen. And the good thing about OBS, it's absolutely free. I've just got to work out where to put this camera and my iPad because as you can see I'm looking to one side here because the right hand monitor is actually right on the edge of my desk. The center monitor is in the center, obviously, and the iPad is on a bracket just above the monitor, which makes it very hard to work on, I can tell you. I wouldn't like to be trying to do um, things up there when it's up in that, at that height. So my next mission is to work out how I can work on the iPad on the desk and still record my image without just the top of my head being the only part that's showing. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.